James Kushner. Uh, I'm a disabled American veteran, U.S. Marine Corps. A lot of our guys had to go home because they're older and they were feeling sick. As everybody knows, this is Fleet Week, and I'm, if you don't know it, I'm not going to explain it now. Anyway, in 1893, the state legislator, le state legislator, le legislature, uh, enacted General Business Law 35, allowing vets with service-connected disabilities to sell anywhere in New York State without restriction. That's restriction to location. In 1988, Mr. Joseph Caswan, an Army Air Force vet, shot down in this last mission over Germany, wounded, was taken prisoner of war for nine months. Joe tested this law, and it was upheld in state Supreme Court. He won pro se. The state legislature, uh, pardon me, I, I'm, I'm partially blind, so I'm, I'm having a little problem with reading. Uh, the state legislature uh, annulled the law within a year. This is after Joe won the case. Joe, Beezer, Beezer Pittiger, and myself wrote a new law, General Business Law 35A. Joe, at the, during all this process, passed away. Uh, when this new law was voted on at 2 a.m. in the morning, the roll call was taken, and we had won by seven votes. However, Assemblyman, uh, Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, I'm sure you all know who he is, uh, called a recess and sent Assemblyman Bragman and other, and other hatchet men to knock on the hotel doors of the assemblymen who voted for the vets to come back and change their votes or they would never breathe the air of Albany again. And I have the front page article in the New York Times about that. This, this was horrendous. This was disgraceful and it was allowed to happen. You talk about people being locked up, he should have been. Well, he eventually was, not long enough as far as I'm concerned. Um, When they came back, some of these assemblymen were crying. When Silver was ahead, by one vote, he closed the vote. In other words, they came back. Some of them came back crying. It went from six, five, four, three, two, one. When it went one back the other way, he closed the vote and we lost. It took us another three years, but we worked at it. And we had to make a compromise with the Democrats in the Assembly to pass General Business Law 35A, which is the one that I and Beza Pittiger wrote. This restored the veterans' rights. An election was held amongst the veterans. I and five others were elected to the Disabled Veteran Vendors Advisory Board And this election was overseen by the New York State Department of Labor. We worked in conjunction for many years with the Bureau of Consumer Affairs. During the de Blasio administration, various schemes to take over vending, which included food as well, and this was, one of it was done by City Speaker uh, Viverito and also co uh, Councilman uh, uh, Vitoli, uh, who, tr and who tried to privatize this vending. It was political chicanery at its best. Let me say that over the years, the New York City Council the Mayor's Office of Veterans Affairs and the current Veterans Advisory Board have never served the needs of the disabled veteran vendors. They worked for the city of New York, not for the veterans. 
They carried out the, wills, the will of the mayor. But we beat them anyway because we stuck to it. We wouldn't give up. And that's why we're here today. The city council has chosen to support and even to finance the street vendor project, giving them an office and money through the Urban Justice League. These people are fakes and frauds. One of the, one of the uh, people on their board who represents, they say, the veterans, is not part of our organization. This was put together by the city council. And where they thought they got the, uh, uh, the right to do this, I'll never know. The one who was a, uh, a, a veteran on this uh, uh, street vendor project worked for years as a disabled veteran in Midtown, New York, with a yellow license, we threw him out at least five or six times. And he's still serving as a representative of disabled veterans, and he it does not represent us in any way. This organization does not represent us in, in any way. And it's a disgrace that you keep on financing and keep promoting these people who testified this morning. I'm almost finished. The Legitimate Disabled Veterans Vending Advisory Board denounces the street vending project as illegitimate and calls for the city council to break all association with it. Furthermore, we will not negotiate with any director of vending that, uh, who is appointed by the city council. We are autonomous and guided by General Business Law 35A, a state law, and we are relying on protection from the courts of the state and not the city. The city has no jurisdiction over us according to this law. Yet they go around promoting this, uh, this, uh, these, these unauthorized groups and uh, also under Mayor de Blasio, Operational Order Number Six: Stop police from enforcing vending laws, shifting this duty to the DCWP. Law 1116B should be repealed immediately. We do not recognize its authority. The enforcement of General Business Law 35A, as enforced by the NYPD will clear Midtown of illegal vendors and congestion and assure the veterans of their rights. And we will no longer come to the city council and beg to be heard, send letters or anything else. We will take it to court. We will bring in, uh, uh, we will we'll use all the actions in state court because this is finished now. We're tired of the political chicanery. That's it. Is everyone testifying? Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry well, I was slow, but I it's, Yeah, it's totally my name is Robert Belkebir. I'm a street vendor too, uh, the disabled veteran. Uh, yeah, uh, here because uh, this morning we heard that street vending project were here for funding. Uh, we just want to let you know that the, this street vending project were asking for funds because they are pretending, pretending that they are defending disabled veterans, which is not true. They are, you know what, they are, they are destroying us, by the way. So Through the Urban Justice League. They're, they're being financed by the Urban Justice League, and it was the Urban Justice League that started. So it must be an investigation. Because, like I said, they pretending they are defending disabled veterans, which is not uh, 
and we are here to request uh, a hearing for, I think we earned that, for disabled veterans, street vendors, because we are going through a lot of problems these days in the city. We have a state right, but the city council... Can we get quiet in the chamber, please? But the city council and city agency doesn't recognize the, these rights that we earn through the state legislator. I'm going to give you just an example before I... The, I mean, the city took out power from NYPD uh, about, uh, concerning the street vending. They give it to DCWP. DCWP, they don't have enough inspector. They have only 22. How can you take a power from 35,000 police officers and you give it? Police officers are there 24 hours, seven days a week. And DCW, five o'clock, they have to go home. So we need. We need to have a ring about this. NYPD should to get back the power to be on the street. That's what I... Thank you. We're Go the ahead. only people today that are here not to ask for any money. Jimmy, Jimmy, give me my glasses. Jimmy, 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 give me my glasses. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, give me my glasses. Take my glasses. I want to speak. Who's going first? I, I need to speak. Yeah. One at a time. Please. Yes. Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Abdel Jamila, United States Army retired, an Iraq war veteran with an Arkham uh, middle device Valor, a New York City uh, street vendor and a member of the Disabled Veteran Vendor Advisory Committee, Article 35A. We are recognized by the New York State Department of Labor and the DCWP in New York City. I'm writing to you today with frustration and anger about the way the New York City Council and the New York City Mayoral Office trying to undermine and discredit and destroy the veterans community in New York City, particularly the disabled veteran street vendors. We want to work in the city with dignity and honor everywhere and anywhere and with no destruction, and then with no discrimination, and then with no de uh, de restrictions. Because the law of 35A is our Bill of Rights, and we don't want crumbs from anybody. From you guys in the City Hall, you got to show us some more, because you've been showing us le less. You are, everybody in the City Council is preferring illegal immigrant nowadays vendors to the New York City veterans who serve honorably in the United States of American wars. And as a war veteran, and I'm a theater, and I'm an injured in war, we will, sure, we will sh make sure that we are getting our rights. The NYPD, uh, the, the, the lack of enforcement by the NYPD and the loss of work and wages that we are struggling from. We all have families and kids, and we are trying to feed our families in this city. The street vendor project is taking over us, and they are not representing us at all. The street vendor project is a sham, is a scam, and is not representing me as a disabled veteran. The New, York, the New York has to recognize the veteran community and he has to recognize the street vendor licensee by enforcing the street vendor law by the NYPD only. The only, I mean only the NYPD can do the job. The city looks confused today by switching enforcement from the DCWP to the sanitation department. The city council was very short-sighted thinking about the ramification and the damages they have done to the disabled veteran street vendor licensees and to the business community all over New York City. They created a public safety crisis all over New York. The Street Vendor Mothers and Gestion Act, Introduction 1116, has to be eliminated and dismantled immediately. It's not favoring any poor New York City uh, vendors, 
particularly disabled veterans who are working in the streets of New York. We want SVP to stop speaking about veterans' street vendor period. They not represent us. Okay, thank you. SVP cannot determine our destiny, and the city should stop funding them and giving them money and giving them office. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Who wants to go next? Good evening. Uh, my name is Peter Kempner. I'm the legal director at Volunteers of Legal Service. We're a free nonprofit legal services office uh, that serves low income New Yorkers to help fill the justice gap. Our veterans initiative focuses on older veterans and helping them plan for the future by drafting and executing life planning documents for them, which include last wills and testaments, uh, powers of attorney, health care proxies and other advanced directives. Um, these documents are extremely important for the veterans of our city because we have an aging veteran population. Um, and these documents ensure that they're able to make their wishes clear, uh, that they're